Tractor supply update time. So where we last left things was, I put out a video last weekend calling for Tractor Supply CEO Hal Lawton. Hey, it's really exciting out here. To take action regarding the brooder situation on Tractor Supplies. I'm, I'm trying to make this a quick video, so I will leave a recap up there if you wanna kind of find out all the details. But the short of it is, earlier this year, Tractor Supply instituted these brooders that are known as battery cage brooders that fail to take care of their chicks adequately and there were reports across the country of sick and dead birds at Tractor Supply. And in my last video, I asked all of you to reach out to Hal Lawton, who's the CEO of Tractor Supply, and ask him to take action and to sort of try to follow up with me and have a conversation with me. And I, and I guess on point number one, uh, I have not heard word one directly from Tractor Supply. Like they have continued to stonewall me, but I have seen a couple of things happen. So, so number two, you guys sent all those emails to Tractor Supply. Here I go once again with the email. Every week, I hope that it's from a female. But over the weekend though, something really interesting happened. So sort of the canned responses that they would send out to people started off very basic. Dear person, thank you very much for your email and reaching out regarding our concerns about the birds and our stores. Respect for value, blah, blah, blah. We want to know the health and safety of the birds is a truly top priority attractor supply. I really appreciate your business, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for your feedback. But then after a day or two, the message changed. Out of an abundance of caution, we have taken a temporary pause on using the brooders to house the birds in our care. While we still believe the brooders to provide a safe and healthy environment for the birds, we are converting to stock tanks for the housing and care of the birds effective immediately. Again, we value the feedback from our customers and appreciate the opportunity to respond. That's correct. They are stating that under that abundance of caution, they are going back to the traditional tank brooding system that they've used for years. They also made this hastily prepared Twitter post that also mentioned the fact that this was happening. And so I'm actually right now at my local tractor supply. And what I'm about to do is sneak in there and check out the brooder situation to see if the thing that they said that they did on Twitter, they're actually doing right now. I know that at the tractor supplies in my local area, they know to be looking for me. So I figured I might as well put on something of a disguise. Yeah, this hat was probably a poor choice if I didn't want to be noticed. Now, because I don't want to be obvious, I am not going to go in there with cameras ablazing, but I might bring it out at some point. Let's see what happens. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. I am very disappointed in all of you. <sighs> all right. So, my mission inside there just showed me that they're still using the same brooders. So I don't know what they're talking about in their emails or in Twitter, because according to what I saw... It's the same thing. They're still doing the same thing. I don't know what to tell you guys, but I'll check back in with another video in the not too distant future. So my phone has been blowing up all day today like I haven't seen in quite some time. I'm getting emails, I'm getting texts, I'm getting Facebook messages and other messenger messages and DMs, Twitter notifications. It's amazing, you guys. I think my trip to Tractor Supply last night was just a little bit too soon because it sounds like in all of the stores, things are changing as we speak. Um, I've heard from about a dozen Tractor Supply employees. I have heard from dozens, probably even a hundred people at this point, who are just shoppers at their local tractor supply and everybody telling me that they've changed out their brooder. So I'm actually on my way back to my local tractor supply to check out the situation as well. I'm really optimistic at this point. Let's see what happens. Well, wonders never cease. Would you look at that? 
They changed it. <laughs> I can't believe they actually changed it. That's pretty incredible to me. I mean, look, when we all started this campaign, we really were concerned about the health and safety of the birds that Tractor Supply was selling. And going into the store right now and seeing a whole bunch of baby birds looking healthy and doing well in a traditional brooding setup, it just warms my heart. You know, I feel like oftentimes in this world you can get so jaded that you see so many things wrong in the world and so many problems and so many issues and you feel helpless, like you can't do anything about it and you can't make an impact and you can't make a change. And really as I reflect on this whole situation and think about what's happened with Tractor Supply and what's happened with their brooders and the change that's happened over the last several weeks, and even though it took all the hard work of you guys reaching out to Tractor Supply and pushing them and getting them to pay attention, I wanna say right now that I think it's absolutely 100% worth it. Because you did this, you guys changed the policy of a Fortune 500 company. Your actions were directly responsible for this shift. Even if the good folks at Tractor Supply aren't gonna acknowledge it, I just want you guys to know that it's because of you. So good job, you guys. If you don't hear it from anybody, you're hearing it from me. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be a true victory or a hollow one. I don't know if it's gonna actually stick or changes are gonna really happen for the better. I mean, look, if Tractor Supply comes out again next year with the new brooders, I'm gonna be at it with an open mind. I mean, conceptually, as I've said in several other videos, the idea of these tower brooders makes sense. My problem has always been with how Tractor Supply specifically implemented it in their stores. I'd be, I'd be very curious to see what they do next year. But I think what we're gonna all have to do is watch and wait and see, and then go from there. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I've gotta run to my local hardware store to buy some materials for my next big project. I'll talk to you soon.